Why the f you so far back? What the f Are you serious? Yeah, and this the game I bought seventy dollars. I'm about to call my bank, bro. I'm about to call my mother bank. Hey, matter of fact, you know what, 2K? Fuck you. I got something for you. Don't worry about it. I got something for you, 2K. Don't worry about it. How are we feeling? Fired up. into the season bro there's always next year yeah no doubt man just got to keep working to come back stronger yeah you're right you're right speaking of that i wanted to talk to you about off season okay i know you got a lot of options and i just wanted to pick your brain a little bit see what you're gonna do in your free time i'm all ears man okay great so i know you got the whole training regimen in place right but not every day is spoken for so the way i see it is you got three things that i think can help you up your game and those are uh fiba qualifying open runs with NBA guys, and even more focused training on your own. Okay, you want me to unpack that for you? Yeah, but if you don't mind, keep it quick, you know what I mean? I got a date tonight. Oh, okay, okay, I see you. Well, yeah. I promise I'll keep this short and sweet, all right? Appreciate it. So obviously, you know you've got an open invite to play for Team USA. Yeah, they made official once we won the U19. Right, right. So this year is a qualifier. I mean, we're qualifying whether you're there or not, but this is a chance for you to rope in some bigger names for the FIBA games, which are coming up in 2027. Yeah, how do you mean? Well, you got pulled with Team USA, so if you say you want to invite Superstar X, mm -hmm. they'll invite Superstar X, right? Then if you guys, you know, play in the qualifier, have a good time, develop a relationship, right? he'll be more likely to play with you when it really counts in the FIBA games, right? So, you know, it's a long play, but it could be worth it depending on how much the FIBA games mean to you. Well, that makes sense. What are you thinking? How are you thinking? Well, I mean, you could also go to open room. Hmm. Man, how would that help me? Well, more relationship building. Invite guys from the team to help strengthen the bond. Mm -hmm. More guys from around the league to maybe recruit down the line in free agency. Shrewd. What's the third thing, man? Well, the third thing is basically more of what you're already up to. You know, focus training, individual workouts, stuff that helps improve your game and skills. What if I want to just chill on the few days that I don't have accounted for, man? Hey, look, you can do that too. All right, this is your life, bro, and you know your body. So maybe you don't want to push yourself that hard, mm -hmm. right? But if you do want to push yourself as hard as I think you can, mm. one of these approaches could be really good for you. I see. I see. Come on, man. So what you thinking? All right, look. FIBA's important to me. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I have the best team possible when we're playing for gold in a few years. So I want to do the qualifier. Great. Well, I'll let them know, and I'll make sure to get you that list of guys so you can get it to the squad ASAP. Appreciate it, P. Absolutely. No, I got you. Hello, everyone. I'll take a question from you. Idan, you won tournament MVP in both the FIBA U-17 World Cup and the FIBA U-18 European Championship. And now you've got the Spanish U-19 team on the cusp of an undefeated World Cup run. Is there anything the United States and their star player MP can do to slow you down? No. Can you elaborate on that? I have been the best player at the international level since I was 16 years old. You call MP a star, but he hasn't won anything in his real competition. He is overrated. What? Those are bold words. We are going to win the championship on Friday, and everyone will see that Spain has the best young basketball players in the world. Hey, yo, y'all get a good look at this. MP, you gonna let him talk to you like this? Man, what you want me to do? Fight, buddy? Sit <laughs> down. I would. What? I mean, guys like our monster, man, they always trying to get under your skin. The last thing you want to do is let them know you're upset. You know what I mean? I guess so. Nah, I don't like it. Cat too young to be that cocky. I don't know, man. He nice. He earned it. But the only way to shut down somebody like that is to stay locked in and win. Everything else is wasted energy. <laughs> you already know, if man. You see, if you say so. Oh. You guys can fit just more. <laughs> Let's go, man. Yep.
Yeah. Have you ever heard the Spanish national anthem? No. It's beautiful, one of the oldest in the world. You'll hear it tomorrow when they give us the trophy. I think you will like it. Very catchy. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he was saying when he was telling me his schedule. I'm like, bro, what? Like, you've been doing it since a kid. Yeah. Up on Sora? Yeah, everything good? Okay, 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 I gotta take care of this. Excuse me, sorry. That had to be dope. Hey, hey, when you guys get up there, I'll introduce you one by one, then open it up for questions. Mm -hmm. Friendly reminder, there are reporters from 27 countries in this room. So whatever you say will be heard around the world. Mm -hmm. Understood. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Looks like they're ready for you. How are we feeling? Relaxed. Wonderful. Let's get to it. Okay, we're going to get started with Team USA's press availability. Representing Team USA will be Tim Fielder, Brandon George, and of course, MP. Hi, everyone. How y'all doing? Let's start with you, Edith. Edith Bauer, Sport Monatlich. I was wondering if you've had a chance to watch Spain's press conference from yesterday, specifically Ivan Almanza's comments, mm -hmm. saying MP is overrated and hasn't won anything against real competition. Yeah, I saw it. And? He likes to talk. I like to play. <laughs> <laughs> so no thoughts at all. <laughs> like I said, I let my game do the talking. You know, so far it says that we have the best defensive rating in this tournament. And there's no accident to that. You know, we, we focus on what really matters over here, which is winning. You know, so he can do all that talking that he wants. But we're going to win tomorrow. And that'll speak louder than any sound bite that Almanso gives you. Thank you. You see, this the Big 37 God back once again, and we're here across the world in the FIBA World Tournament, and we're about to put on the show, and we got to put that nigga in his place. Damn, that <laughs> bomb that nigga just shot up. Let's see if the play actually gonna get developed. Nigga was late on the shit, and I'm about to get fouled again. Hey, bro, you need me to guard him? Here's Hansen. <laughs> USA with another miss. Spain leading by six. The 17-footer. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. Hey, you. Tighter. Hey, you. Tighter. Fuck it. I'm going to guard him. Now I'm on the score. It's time to talk business. Nigga, you hear me? I'm on your motherfucking ass. And I'm gonna be. Hey, no, get your ass back over there. I'm on your ass now. Talk that now since I'm here, nigga. You should be lucky I ain't do you like Tupac did that nigga in the elevator. That damn rebound. This game would be so better if the defense wasn't selling me the 24. Seven when I'm going four shots in the paint. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Listen. He's only one man, and he's ass as a man. You gotta realize something, nigga. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, shit. Hey, nice two. I'll take that all week. You and them threes? That shit gotta get. That shit for the birds, nigga. You ain't the only person that can dunk in this goddamn court. You understand me? Listen, listen. I have guard Wimby over two generations already. I got experience out here in this goddamn field. I got experience on this goddamn court. Hell no. Nigga, you better earn this shit. Damn it, I wish he passed me the fucking ball. I should have held X. Good block, boy. Good block, boy. Good block, boy. I'm taking it all the way, boy. You gotta understand that I'm about to be all in your motherfucker. 
am I playing the same game as other niggas? How do my teammates just get stuck on picks and just stay there and never fucking recover? It's like, nigga, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. But damn, is it when my teammates set picks on these niggas, they get by this shit. Like, it's not even there. Playing peep game. I said a pick. I said a pick on niggas. They take their time getting past me. Look, hey, peep game. Okay, cool. Good job, Field. Who's that other nigga that was playing with this? That nigga, darkest, he the darkest one on the court. Who the hell guarding him? Who the hell man is that? That's crazy, and I'm fucking tired. Why am I tired? The game is fucking glitching out, bro. Now my fucking meter is stuck while I'm in adrenaline. The game is registering me as I'm fucking dribbling, and I can't, I have to quit or just fucking restart. This game's so shitty. <laughs> just a transition to just the weakest shit I've ever seen in my life. Damn, these niggas getting the mid range just go fing stupid bonkers in this bitch. Did we not just see what just happened? Then decided to do a gather to shoot the ball and missed. But was he not standing wide open? So you telling me he just couldn't shoot the fing ball? Or is it just me? Huh? Am I just seeing shit? I know my vision is like 1530, but nigga, I can see this shit without my glasses. That fing rebound. Damn! What the fuck just happened right there? Man, at least the ref seen that because I ain't see that shit. And I know I was just talking about seeing something. I did see that bitch ass nigga stand open and miss that mid range shot because he decided to step in for it. Man, what's an offensive rebound? Because I've never seen one. I've never seen an offensive rebound ever in my life. <laughs> this man, like Chris Move, low key. <laughs> What's an offensive rebound? Cause this nigga I swore on everything, bro. If he got another motherfucking offensive rebound over three of my both of my bigs in this fing paint, I'm getting a headache. Your mother hates you, bro. How you say that in Spanish? Oh shit, now that I think about it, we are playing against the Spanish team, huh? Basura, this game is the pinche basura. I don't know if I even said that right. That damn rebound. Then this man looked like Chris Smooth for some reason. He got the they like the, the blue on, got the lace sleeves and the right arm sleeves. Damn, nigga. Look, get off me, Chris. I don't want to run into Chris Smooth at starting five. I'm not going first. I really do. I played that about a month ago. This shit was pretty entertaining. Buddy, I was playing against was shooting nothing but threes. We love to see that. We love to see that. You hear the sarcasm busting through the roof if I, as I say that? You're not making it to the NBA, you Fool, we got Wimby right now. Man, what's an offensive rebound? Cause I've never seen one. I've never seen an offensive rebound ever in my life. Mid edit right now. Peep, what the fuck just happened? I didn't even notice this when I was actually playing. I was more focused on the fact that I didn't get the damn rebound because our hands was right there. But I just noticed that I managed to run from the other side of the court and get all the way up here to almost get the defensive rebound before my teammates even get a chance to get to the ball. That nigga pulled up for three, got all the way into the paint to get his offensive rebound. I'm not saying what is an offensive rebound for no reason because they keep getting them pitches. Like what the fuck am I playing? I've been foreshadowing this whole game without even noticing it. And the biggest foreshadow still hasn't even occurred yet. That's what I pointed out earlier about Going into the paint with defense. Don't worry about it. Y'all see. Time out, time out, bro. Cause why the fuck did this nigga just do that shit? Oh, I know why. It's not him. It's the it's my control. Stick drift. That nigga just tried to do a goddamn go-to shot. If the defense wasn't selling me the 24. Seven when I'm going four shots in the paint. Why the fuck you so far back, nigga? What the fuck? Nigga, are you serious? And this the game I bought 70 up. I'm about to call my bank, bro. I'm about to call my motherfucking bank. So this is another reason why I just can't score sometime or getting sold on shots 
Because the game just don't want me to. Because what the fuck is that? Damn, I saw that shit before the damn animation, man. Lopez with the steal. And now Spain on the Hey, matter of fact, you know what, 2K? Fuck you. I got something for you. Don't worry about it. I got something for you, 2K. Don't worry about it. How are we feeling? Fired up. Who's overrated now, man? Still you. Ah, uh, come on, you did your thing, though. Mm -hmm. Hey, enjoy my anthem, man. <laughs> yeah, thank you, 2K. Fuck off. That's all I need that for. If you enjoyed this episode, of 30 Sam and God Show, make sure to hit the like button. Any feedback, or criticism, let it be known in the comment section below. Hit the bell notification so you know always know when your boy has uploaded. And stay subscribed to the channel to stay locked in to this greatness. I did it exactly. I fucked them. I fucked them for fucking me with that dumbass animation. I fucked them. So. Fuck now back to the original schedule programming of playing the Hall of Fame. Love y'all. Appreciate the support. I will catch you in the next one.